Wow. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Wow. I'd like us all to have a little experience together, so you join with me. Let's all take in a big, deep breath and a relaxing exhale. Now, I'd like you to lightly lick your lips. All right, great. Now gently chew like you're enjoying your favorite snack. All right, you guys did great. For the past 15 years, I've been training wild mustangs. Yes, the wild horses that Mother Nature created by the thousands to run freely across the American West, thus becoming the epic, enduring signature symbol of freedom. Some of you might be wondering, well, how do you train a wild horse? especially when Mother Nature created them to be so skittish, flighty, and extremely reactive. Well, I got very curious. I wanted to know, what made them tick? Why did they do the things that they do? This curiosity led me to my now good friend, Dr. Stephen Peters, his scientific research. And Dr. Peters, a human neurologist and horse lover himself, informed me that I could create safety inside of the horse. <laughs> Whoa, this was life-changing. What he was telling me was that I could influence the behavior of these wild horses to seek calmness themselves. No more of this crazy Western cowboy mentality of saddling them up anyway and literally breaking their spirit and just bucking them out and hoping that nobody got hurt in the process. So how do you train a wild horse to experience internal safety? Attention is the first step in any behavior change, both in horses and in humans. See here, I must first gain the attention of this wild horse that's headed in the wrong direction. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. Slow down faster to get done sooner. What does this mean in training a wild horse? The horse needs time to relax back down to safety. This is why we design each learning experience for the horse to have this time between each activity. During this time, the horse is seeking mental relief. This is the beginning of transformation. I recognize this in the horse when the horse takes a big breath and licks and chews. Do you guys remember our experience from earlier? Yes, each of you mimic the behavior of the horse settling into safety. It's during this slowdown time, when the horse is seeking mental relief, that the horse first starts to internalize its safety. And it's in this moment that is the basis for training, teaching, and guiding the wild horse to take safety with it into the world. Now, I can't take him shopping in Walmart. <laughs> yet. A great quote that I've learned from many times in working with wild horses is that pain is a great teacher. One of my greatest learning moments come from a tremendous amount of pain caused by a traumatized horse. The short story is, just two seconds after my wife snapped this picture, while the horse was coming up, my face was slamming down into the back of the horse's head. Two life-saving ambulance rides and a facial reconstructive surgery later, I look like this. <laughs> and I'm damn happy to be alive. <laughs> I, 
I've learned a lot about being human from the horses that I have worked with. The single biggest life lesson that I have learned is this. Horses have experiences and create their internal sense of safety or fear in the moment, in the now. Humans tell stories about their experiences, and it's the stories that create the internal safety or fear for the human. See, I believe that us humans are a lot like these wild Mustangs. We all have moments of fight, flight, and fear. One of my most terrifying moments was lying there in the ICU, questioning, asking myself if I'd ever get back on the horse again. All of the negative stories were running wildly through my mind. You're not very good at this horse training thing. <laughs> you should just go get a real job. <laughs> you almost died, cowboy. Lying there alone in my hospital bed, feeling defeated, depleted, and absolutely embarrassed, for I'd felt that I had failed yet again at my life. And it was in that moment that an intuitive message came through me. West, the story that you tell yourself about this experience will forever change your life. Let me say that again this way. The story that you tell yourself about your experiences will forever change your life. Well, in that, <laughs> in that moment, I chose to tell myself a great story, a grand story of transformation, a story that would create internal safety for me. You see, I told myself that there are no accidents, that everything happens for a reason, that life happens for me, not to me. With this new story, I knew I could make it through. I knew I could get back on the horse again. And what's possible when you and your horse have a sense of internal safety? <laughs> Damn near anything. You might find yourself like I did at the bottom of the Grand Canyon with five Mustangs needing to cross a very narrow steel bridge suspended 80 feet above the Colorado River. You don't know what you have inside of yourself until you have it under pressure. Five Mustangs suspended 80 feet above the Colorado River? That was some pressure, my friends. The adrenaline was free that day. You might also find yourself so comfortable together that you can even go shopping. Like when my wife calls and says, Hey, honey, we're out of coffee. Would you stop at Walmart and grab some? Sure, baby. I'll take the horse. Thank you. Thanks.